Ian Stewart's signature design would be um, quite a big dress, quite theatrical, quite historical looking, but very sexy and modern at the same time. Um, lots of asymmetrical draping, sort of fairly fitted corseted bodices, slightly tongue-in-cheek, humorous, but fun at the same time. I did a, a degree in, in fashion um, at um, university, and then after that I always wanted to specialise in bridal and evening wear. So I kind of focused on that in the final two years, and I did bridal wear as my final degree show, which was a strange thing to do because nobody actually did that in, in those days. So it was quite a first for a student to actually do a purely bridal wear collection. We should never forget that wedding dresses were never actually traditionally white in the first place. We've kind of gone back to how it all started. White and ivory does not suit the majority of of English skin. White can really kind of wash you out. Um, paler pastel tones like pale coffee, pale gold, um, stone colours, mushroom colours, they will actually make your skin look browner and give you more of a tan. Um, however, white and ivory looks fantastic on, on ethnic skins and people with very dark suntans. Most, most people actually think that when a wedding dress is in a colour, then it couldn't possibly be a wedding dress. But uh, as you can see, um, the coloured dresses still look very, very bridal, especially the two-tone effect dresses, where you've got, on this particular dress, a, um, a draped honey-coloured bodice with an ivory silk or gowns of skirt. Um, it still looks very, very bridal gown, and it still looks very wedding-y, even though it's using a colour. Um, the paler, softer colours like, like this dress here are great for church weddings where you want just a hint of a colour. Hi Svetlana, how are you? How's everything going? Good. Oh, is that the new um, special order mm -hmm. that's come in? I think brides, a lot of brides don't want to look like brides. They don't want to look like typical cheesy meringue, you know, kind of what, what we all think of as a, as a Barbie bride. I think a lot of girls now are approaching their weddings with the feeling that it's going to be a great party with a great location and it's just a fantasy dressing up day. If you've got more of a kind of a barn, kind of country wedding feel, the coffee shades and the copper shades are really nice with the scrunchy fabrics because they, they have like a relaxed kind of country feel. Another very popular dress for us is this dress here, Sevruga, which is a huge, big aubergine silk taffeta gown. Um, it really is very, very Scarlet O'Hara um, with the detachable sleeves, and it has a very, very long train. Um, this dress is our typical kind of castle wedding dress. When you look at the most stylish and sophisticated weddings, Generally, nine times out of ten, they've been very well colour-coordinated, from the flowers to the table decorations to the men's waistcoats and hankies. It looks really smart in the, in, in the wedding pictures and the wedding video, and it looks like there's been a lot of thought gone behind the whole wedding. This, again, is very, very elegant. Still has the flowers, it still has the, the tulle, but it is more of a almost more of an evening dress, really, um, also with the bolero jacket. The fabric is dove grey, shot with salmon. I have um, often thought about fluorescent pink and lime green, but I think there's a kind of a limit to, to how obscure you could go with the colour stories. Maybe one day, though. <laughs>